I'm Vicki Sakaris. I'm editor with Concrete Surfaces Magazine, and I'm here with Jason Grafasi, Chief Information Officer of the International Concrete Polishing and Staining Conference. Now in its eighth year, ICPSC is known as the premier event for concrete polishing contractors. And welcome, Jason. Thank you very much for having me. Good. So this year, ICPSC um, offered polished concrete contractors a new venue. You, on Monday, the annual conference took place right here at the Las Vegas Convention Center in conjunction with World of Concrete. Why did the why did ISCP ICPSC make the move to Vegas? Um, well, we've had many requests over the years to do something on the West Coast. Uh, our, our conference has always been held in Atlanta on the East Coast, mm -hmm. um, so we've had many requests to, to get it on the West Coast. Um, also, you know, with the relationship that we've had with with world of concrete for all these years um, it only made sense to in order to you know go over to the west coast to see if we could work together and find a way uh, to provide you know everyone that's already coming and attending the world of concrete you know a, another level of education which you know the world of concrete already provides such great job of doing that and, and like I said this allows us to take it to the next level here on the west coast great um and those who registered for ICPSC this year had access to a full day of seminars and networking activities. Mm -hmm. What else do they have access to this week? Um, well, what we did actually is we set up specific demonstration times okay. for the sponsors of the event. So um, everyone from uh, National or Natural Stone Solutions and Prepmaster, uh, Workmaster, CPAA, uh, Vexcon Chemicals, and also um, Schofield. And, uh, and Runyon Surface Prep. They were all able to actually have their own specific demonstration time. So attendees would then go over and actually learn from these uh, companies about what they provide specifically. And well, another new development this year is at the end of each of your educational seminars, you introduced a 10 to 15 question quiz for mm -hmm. attendees. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me more about these quizzes and why they were introduced? Uh, well, there were a couple reasons, okay? Uh, the, the main reason um, was really just to reiterate the important points from that seminar, right? So it's a great way to wrap everything up and to remind the attendees, you know, what were we really hoping that you got out of this seminar? Um, so it allowed them to review, really, you know, what were the highlights of that and then, you know, Taking a test just reiterates things. You know, you sit there, you listen, and you hear things, but until you're actually writing it down and, and you know, the pressure of testing and actually right. being forced to pay attention, uh, you know, that helps the education process. And so we wanted to bring that into it. Um, also, of course, you know, there is the next step of, of ICPSC and, and Concrete Polishing University, which is certification. Um, so, you know, testing and, and making sure that these, uh, these attendees are learning something towards a certification uh, that you know that that's what we wanted to move towards so you know just as the world of concrete we always want to be improving and advancing and and, and innovating right. uh, when it comes to our conference and so you know that's where testing came in and uh, and we felt like it worked great and uh, we're real excited to, to continue that yeah, good so what were a few highlights from the show for those who could not make it on Monday um, a few highlights were um, well, one one huge highlight was that the uh, there was actually kind of a part one to the luncheon, which had to do with the slip fall. And so uh, Jennifer Fowler of uh, Diamatic went through and gave an, a very thorough background on the process and the research that went into creating and, and um, working on the standard for slip fall that, that they then you know went deeper into at the luncheon. Um, so it was great to give the contractors that deep understanding of really what went into it. Um, because once again, you know, the best way to um, to elevate your company and to separate yourself from competitors is to be able to have provide that knowledge to the client or the architect. And so Jennifer went very deep into that information, and so contractors were able to learn that. And now they can speak in an educated manner, uh, which is huge, like I said, when you're talking to a client. When, when they hear you talking that deeply about something, uh, they know you are the expert and you are the company that we would want to work with if we're going to get into something like that. So, so that was one. Um, you know, we had a couple really uh, you know, out of the box um, seminars. One of them was uh, HR. We, we had a seminar that went through human resources, um, which is something that we, we haven't done before. 
and uh, and so that was you know that was cool to to get contractors you know to think of something outside of, you know normally you just think of okay how am I going to polish, um, but you know we're giving the big business picture. Um, another cool one was uh, placing concrete for a polished floor, you know. So once again, you know, going outside of what you know you're typically when you're if you're new to the industry you're thinking okay I just need to learn how to polish but there's much more to it, you know. So we were able to step outside of that once again and, and provide the bigger picture, um, which really just makes the contractor like I said more well-rounded. And then when they're speaking to their client or their architect, they have a deeper understanding. Which once again the client or architect says okay well this person's the expert. That's that's obviously who we want to go with. So those, those were just a couple of the, the highlights from this year's conference. They sound great, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, and my last question mm -hmm. is, what's the best part about moving your show to Las Vegas? Um, the best part is that, you know, attendees and, and, and manufacturers, they're already coming to the world of concrete. Right. You know, they're already, typically that's something, you know, when you're going through your, uh, your annual expenses and figuring out, you know, what events and what shows you want to go to, World of Concrete's always on that list. So to be able to tap into individuals that are already coming here um, and provide, once again, you know, just take education to another level, um, it, you know, it, it was just a seamless transition. And, uh, and so it fit perfectly, once again, with the attendees, with the manufacturers, you know, it makes everything cost effective for everyone, which is really, you know, I mean, that, that's a huge thing. Um, so, so that's, you know, that's probably one of the best things about being able to bring it here is that, you know, we're able to make everything seamless and just streamline the process and, and everyone's able to get the best packed into one period of time rather than going all over. You know, let me ask you one more question. How do you think it went? Um, I think it went really well. Uh, it was, um, you know, I mean, in terms of the, everything was packed. Uh, the seminars, you know, we had 100 attendees for the conference. We had 180 uh, that registered for the networking event, which is great. Which is great. And then, you know, last I checked, it was 150 for the luncheon, but that was when it was sold out. And then I know that they extended it even more. Right. And so the luncheon sold out. So like I said, I mean, everything was packed. So, um, so that shows, you know, exactly. And, and this is only the first year doing this. You know, once again, now we can all take, you know, go back and sit back and see what worked, what didn't, reevaluate, and provide an even better experience next year. So overall, we're extremely happy with it. Um, like I said, everything was packed, so, you know, obviously people were at least interested in it, and hopefully they saw the value and they're ready to come back again next year. Oh, well, great. All right. Uh, from my outsider's view, it looked like it was a, a great success. Yep. So yeah, awesome. So congratulations to you. Thank you very and much, and thank you for having us. Oh, thank you. And that concludes our conversation. So. Wonderful. Thank you.